सो वेलकम टू द माय यूट्यूब चैनल शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो प्रॉब्ली हैव यू हैव लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज जोमेट्रिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड वी आल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट मॉड्यूलस ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इट्स जोमेट्रिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन वी हैव सीन सम इन इक्वालिटीज एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस द ट्राइंगल इन इक्वालिटी वेयर वी हैव सीन द टू प्रूफ ऑफ ट्राइंगल इन इक्वालिटी one of the geometrical proof another one is the algebraic proof in this lecture i am going to discuss about the conjugate of a complex number and triangle inequality as i have promised that in this video i will discuss about what is the third proof of a triangle inequality so we'll start with the conjugate it's also called as complex conjugate or simply conjugate so the complex conjugate or just a conjugate of a complex number z is equal to x plus i y or z is equal to x y is defined as the complex number x minus i y or x comma minus y and is denoted by z bar that is we say that z bar is equal to x minus i y so that is the conjugate of a number is defined as if you have order pair xy the conjugate will be the x comma minus y so what is that actually the conjugate is the actually a reflection of a point xy with respect to x axis or a real line so the number z bar is represented by a point x minus y which is the reflection in the x axis the point xy representing z in complex plane or organ diagram or xy plane or z plane there are different names of this complex plane if i draw as a figure of this so if you can see this in xy plane if this is your z then z bar will be x comma minus y which is this vector red red vector is we have denoted so what is actually it is the reflection of this vector with respect to x axis or a real line okay so with the real line whatever the reflection of the xy plane the x minus y point is there that is called the z bar Okay, so that is geometrically the conjugate of a number is so now we'll see some properties of this conjugate so in that we we write this for any complex number z through that first one z bar of bar will be z second one mod of z bar is same as mod z bar that means the modulus of z and its uh, conjugates are same the third one a real part of z will be z plus z bar by 2 and the imaginary part of z will be z minus z bar by 2i this is the third property the fourth property that we have is mod of z bar square will be z into z bar so z bar square modulus of z bar square will be the square into z into z bar that we have so let us try to see this the proof are simple if you consider if you consider z as x plus i y then you know that as per the definition z bar is x minus i y so therefore z bar or bar will be x minus i y whole bar and as per the definition of a conjugate if it is plus sign is there the minus sign will convert and if the minus is there what will have is x plus i y and which is z so therefore conjugate of a conjugate is the number itself for the second one what will be the mode z bar you will have 
that is mod of x minus i y that will be the square root of x square plus minus y square will have and you know that the min uh, minus y square will be y square itself so that's why this is mod z so that is the proof of the second property they have the third property that we have is uh, a real part of a z is the half of the sum of uh, z and its conjugate so so for that i'm starting with z plus z bar so what is z it is x plus i y and what is z bar we know that it is x minus i y now you can see that this i y will cancel out so we're left with a 2x and that 2x we can write as it is two times a real part of z so therefore it is a real part of z we can write as z plus z bar by 2 similarly one can see that z minus z bar will be x plus i y minus of x minus i y so this minus of x minus i y will turns out minus x plus i y so therefore what we'll have is this is cancel out so we'll have a two times i y and that two times i y will gives you y or i can say it is imaginary part of z will be z minus z bar by 2y now for the fourth proof fourth property proof we'll start with z into z bar what is z it is x plus i y what is z bar it is x minus i y now as the definition of the product rule what we can say is this is x square plus y square which is mode of z so finally what we can write is mode z is square root of z into z bar why because uh, modulus will never be negative so that's why it is by taking the square root both sides it will be the same as this now the next property that we are discussing is for any complex number z1 and z2 through that first one z1 plus z2 bar will be z1 bar plus z2 bar z1 into z2 bar will be z1 bar into z2 bar third one if it is also if i consider here is minus then so both the plus and minus will be true and the third one is z1 upon z2 bar will be z1 bar upon z2 bar if z2 is non zero so i am giving you as an exercise this so you will take it this is proof as homework the next one is the next property for any complex numbers z1 and z2 through that first one mod of z1 z2 equal to mod z1 into mod z2 and second one mod of z1 upon z2 will gives you mod z1 upon mod z2 so that is the result of modulus actually but using the conjugate will prove this so when z1 equal to 0 and z2 is equal to 0 the property clear because if z1 is 0 z2 is 0 this side is 0 and if z1 is 0 the modulus is 0 so that's why the property is 1 now if they are not 0 we'll start with this we are taking with the i'm starting with the z1 into z2 square so as the property as we have discussed mode of z will be z square will be z into z bar so using this property we will write this this is z1 into z2 into z1 into z2 bar so z1 into z2 bar we can write as z1 bar into z2 bar due to this property that we already discussed about that is this now applying the associative property here we may write this is as z1 into z1 z2 into z1 bar 
into Z2. So applying the associative property, we can write this. And now applying the uh, commutative and associative both property here, we may write this as a Z1 into Z1 bar and Z2 into Z2 bar. So this will gives you more Z1 square and this will gives you more Z2 square. So what we'll have is Z1 into Z2 square minus Z1 bar square into Z2 bar square equal to zero. So this is like, uh, I cannot take here positive square root because there would be two values. So I need to justify that the one of the quantity is never possible. So for that, uh, we'll just simplify this. We factorize this as mode of Z1, Z2 minus mode of Z1 into mode of Z2. Uh, mode of Z1 into Z2 plus mode Z1 into mode Z2 equal to 0. So what we'll have is this product of this two complex number is 0 and in my previous lecture we have proved that either of one of them has to be 0 or both of them is 0. But this will never be 0. Why? Z1 into Z2 plus Z1 into Z mode Z2 will not equal to 0 as modulus is never negative because you can see that if, if this is possible then you can write down if this is equal to if this quantity is 0 then you can write as mode of Z1 Z2 equal to minus of Z1 into minus of Z2 and so this is modulus on this this is positive this is also positive value non negative value so it will not possible thing so that's why that's why we can say that this is not equal to zero and so this quantity will be zero so therefore what we have is z1 into z2 equal to z1 bar sorry z1 into z2 bar equal to z1 bar into z2 bar Similarly, one can prove that Z1 upon Z2 will be Z1 into Z2 if Z2 is not equal to 0. This you can take it as a homework that you can do it yourself. Now we'll give the another proof of triangle inequality for any complex numbers Z1 and Z2 prove that Z1 plus Z2 is less than or equal to more Z1 plus now in the my previous lecture we already discussed the geometrical proof and once again let us revise what we have did if you have this is x y axis and if you have this is as x axis if you consider this is as z1 and this vector as z2 you copy this z2 here you copy the z2 here this is Z2. Z1 plus Z2 will be this vector. So this is the vector Z1 plus Z2 you have. So what is the mode of Z1, Z2? This distance from origin to this point. So this OA is mode of OA if I consider this is mode of Z1. AB if I consider this point then AB will be so OA will be z1 ob will be z1 plus z2 and ab will be z2 now in this triangle you know that any of the one side is smaller than some of the other two sides in a triangle that's fact and that is a geometry we can use that fact and we'll say that the mode of z1 z2 if i have to write down mode here we see that OA which is mode of Z1, so OA plus mode of AB, we see that OB is the one of the side which is Z1 plus Z2 and which is always smaller than the sum of the other two sides that is OA plus AB. So that's the geometrical proof that we have. One of the algebraic proof we have also seen in the uh, my previous lecture. 
Now here I am talking about the another proof with the use of conjugate. So I am starting with z1 plus z2 square. So z1 plus z2 square we can write as z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 bar whole bar. Now using the property that z1 plus z2 bar the conjugate of a sum is sum of conjugate. So that is z1 bar plus z2 bar using that we can write down this a by a distributive law we can write this as z1 into z1 bar z1 into z2 bar so this z1 is multiply here that will gives me this this term this z1 is multiply here that will gives me this term if z2 will multiply here then it is z2 into z1 bar and this is z2 into z2 bar that will multiply this z2 to this z2 so now what we can see observe is what will be this if you have z bar square will be z into z bar so using that we can write this is as z1 square mode of z1 square see this i am writing as as it is but what we can observe on for this quantity this quantity is actually we can write as z1 into z2 bar whole bar so, so i'm starting with that that is z1 into z2 bar whole bar by property that the conjugate of a product is product of conjugate so using that we can write as z1 bar into z2 bar whole bar then conjugate of a conjugate so for this we are using the conjugate of a conjugate is itself so that is z1 bar into z2 and using the commutative law we can write down this is z2 into z1 bar so that is same as this quantity so that means this quantity and this quantity is are same so we can write instead of that so plus this one is z2 square now what will be this you can observe this two quantity in the middle two quantity what you have is actually this is mod z1 square and this quantities are nothing but the using this real part of z will be z plus z bar by 2 so using this uh, equality if you consider this quantity as z then this will be the z bar so it is of the kind z into z bar so that quantity we can write as two times real part of z1 into z2 bar plus z2 bar square now what will be this quantity also in my previous lecture we already seen that real part of z is less than or equal to mod of real part of z which is less than or equal to mod z so using this inequality we can write as this is mod of z1 square plus 2 times mod of z1 into z2 bar plus mod of z2 bar square now this will also tells you that mod of z1 square plus 2 times mod of z1 into mod of z2 bar plus z2 that we have just proved that z1 modulus of z1 into z2 is mod of z1 into mod of z2 so using that we can write this now what is mod of z2 bar mod of z2 bar is nothing but mod of z2 so that is z1 bar square plus 2 times that is mod of z1 plus mod of z2 plus z2 bar square so that will write as mod of z1 plus mod of z2 whole square so finally what we got is we got mod of z1 plus z2 square is less than or equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 whole square now by taking non negative square root both side we get mod of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 so that's complete the proof of a triangle inequality one more property that i want to mention here uh, for any complex number z prove that mod of z raised to n is mod of z whole power n for any n belongs to n 
see this result is actually the cosequence of the result z1 into z2 equal to mode of z1 into mode of z2 for every z1 and z2 this is true so what i am considering you can consider this z1 and z2 are equal let us say that z1 equal to z2 equal to z in particular if you consider in particular this two quantities are same then this will be the z square equal to mode of z whole square now using pmi one can 